years and years later, uh, Roy Campbell, who was also the commanding officer for Foxhound mm-hmm. in Metal Gear 2. Right, but when Foxhound was regular people, he was in. Yeah, Solid Snake left Foxhound as well. But Roy Campbell comes back, finds Solid Snake, because now Foxhound is defected. And it's and they, all a bunch of freak show weirdos. Yeah, and and, all the, and Foxhound has taken over Shadow Moses Island, which is a remote weapons research facility in Alaska on an island. Uh, and they've taken it over, and they're demanding like a billion dollars. They're also asking for Big Boss's body. Because he's dead. He's, he's fucking dead. dead. He's uh, burned alive. And... And Foxhound also has a whole bunch of soldiers. They're genome soldiers. They're soldiers who receive gene therapy using Big Boss's genes because he had, like, the perfect genes to make the ultimate soldier, apparently. Clearly. I mean, yeah. he was the best soldier. He was the best fucking it dude. It had to come from somewhere, yeah. right? Right? So, <laughs> <laughs> the leader of the thing is Liquid Snake, who looks just like Solid Snake. Uh, there, And the other members of Foxhound are Psycho Mantis. Who's a weirdo. Sniper Wolf. Kind of a weirdo. Revolver Ocelot. Whoa. Oh my god. Vulcan Raven. Vulcan Raven. Not that much of a weirdo? Not that much of a weirdo. He De- likes he likes Decoy the Octopus. And Decoy Octopus. Probably a weirdo. Probably a weirdo. We don't really get to know. But Solid Snake infiltrates this. He meets up with uh, the DARPA chief. When you're also, you're trying to get information from the DARPA chief about right. how to stop nuclear launch from this Metal Gear thing. Metal Gear Rex. And Who's he has a he, the best metal gear. Yeah, he mysteriously has a heart attack. There's another lady in the cell who is Roy Campbell's niece, actually daughter, Meryl Silverberg. The the guard patrolling is actually Johnny, <gasps> the, the grandson, the grandson of, of Johnny the same from Metal Gear Johnny. Solid Three, who um, has he, the same genetic condition. Yeah, he also has bowel issues. He's got some poop problems. <laughs> <laughs> got problems with the poopies. Yeah, but you you eventually. Uh, Another person Solid Snake has to find after Meryl escapes disguised as a, a genome soldier is you have to find uh, the arms tech president, the, the president right. of the company who is manufacturing this new Metal Gear thing. Mm-hmm. He has data on the Metal Gear and all this other important stuff. He's being the, held The host. arms tech president was supposed to, I mean, the, the DARPA chief was supposed to, mm-hmm. but he, he died of a heart attack before he got hmm. it from him. So hmm. the arms tech president also dies in a mysterious way and... Uh, well, before that, you also fight Revolver Ocelot, who's holding him hostage with C4 and stuff. Yeah. Um, and there's trip wires, and there's a lot of gun juggling. Uh, and you fight he's, Ocelot, he's a weirdo. but his arm gets cut off by a man who's dressed up as a cyborg. He's a cyborg ninja. Cuts his arm off, and Which then leaves. Which is suddenly normal from here on out yeah. in the world of Metal Gear. Yeah. That's just a thing that happens kind of regularly. Yeah. Um, the, the, the support staff, I should say, for for this so far is Roy Campbell. Mm-hmm. There's also Nastasha, which is a Russian lady who actually is not important at all in the grand scheme of things. Nobody ever calls her very yeah. often. Uh, there's Nastasha, who just knows stuff about nukes. And then there's Naomi Hunter, who is the doctor uh, who injects snakes with nanomachines uh, so that he can do the mission and also has like nanomachines so he can use the codec to call people. And then there's also Mei Ling, uh, a lady who developed the, the radar system, the codec, yeah. and all this other stuff. She saves your, get your game. Even though you have things very similar to the radar system and the codec uh-huh. in earlier yeah. games in the timeline. Yep. Um, but the arms tech president also mysteriously dies, so you have to go meet up with Meryl again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and after you meet up with her, you encounter uh, Psycho Mantis. Uh, who a psychic. Yeah. And he, he takes, went crazy because people think about sex. Yeah, he, he All, hears everybody's he thoughts. He can't handle people thinking about <laughs> the sex. <laughs> he wears a gas mask to like keep other people's thoughts out of his mind. Because apparently thoughts come through the mouth? I guess. Sure. It's weird. Uh, I would wear a hat. Yeah, a it's, tinfoil hat. It's covering the wrong part of the skull. Yeah. Uh, you defeat Psycho Mantis. You eventually sneak through more with uh, Meryl, but she gets shot by Sniper Wolf. <gasps> you eventually you fight get, Sniper Wolf, but you only... get peed on by a dog. Yep, you get peed on by a wolf, okay. and then they like you because you smell good, I guess. Meryl gets taken away, but then you fight Sniper Wolf. Snake is eventually captured and tortured by Revolver Ocelot, who wants to know about uh, the the PAL card that you had that was given by right. Uh, As opposed to the NTSC card, uh-huh. which is completely <laughs> different. The PAL card given to you by the Armstead President and all that. Uh, which is apparently the key to disarming Metal Gear Rex and keeping it from launching a nuke. Uh, you don't know, though, and you eventually escape thanks to uh, the scientists you met earlier. 
my my bestie, my boy. Yeah. Hal uh, Emmerich, the son of Huey Emmerich from Peace Walker and the Phantom Pain. Him and his Japanese animes. <laughs> he is also working on a bipedal mech <laughs> based on the designs used by his dad, which were based on the designs from a random Russian guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but he sure they will never launch nuclear weapons. I didn't with know that there were guns with it. Yeah, and and Huey's father also worked in the Manhattan Project. It's it's a bad family line. Don't be an Emmerich. <laughs> on top of bad always working will on happen to you as lo- as well as always being exploited to work on nukes. Every you're also woman you have, ever love will, will die. die. We don't know who ha- who Otacon's mom is. Like, there's an implication. Otacon's mom is actually Dr. Strangelove from Peace Walker. Really? His actual like, ma- mother is P- is Dr. Strangelove. Is that confirmed? Strangelove. Like, it's yes. super implied a lot. It is confirmed in okay. the, like, credits timeline role at the end of Peace Walker. Okay, okay. Yeah, Otacon's mother is actually Dr. Strangelove. So his mom is a lesbian who gave a pity fuck to <laughs> a wheelchair-bound nerd. Yeah. Uh, also, when we first met uh, uh, Otacon, we also fought Gray Fox who end up being Frank Yeager from what? Metal Gear 1 and 2. The, so the cyborg ninja is yes. called Gray Fox, who is actually Frank Yeager from the 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 first two the Metal early games, the, A the war buddy games. of Solid Snake who he eventually had to punch and kill in a minefield, which is actually a small room surrounded by mines. Okay. Yes. All right, and so, so you're being jailed by the Poopy Man, the <laughs> yeah. grandson of the former Poopy Man. Yeah, grandson of the former Poopy Man. Uh, you're able to escape because Otacon gives you ketchup that he used to fake like you're dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Meryl has also apparently been captured. You eventually confront Liquid Snake again in a helicopter. You defeat him. At this point, does he start calling you brother? You know, I don't know. I can't okay. remember if he calls you but brother yet. He does have a thing of calling you brother. Yes, li- that's what Liquid Snake does because Solid and Liquid are actually are, they're, two. They're clone brothers. They are clone brothers of Big Their Boss. genes are exactly alike, except for the times in dialogue where they're act- exactly opposite. Yes. Because Kojima didn't know exactly how genes worked. Apparently, recessive genes immediately mean they're bad genes and not just they're yeah. different, they're recessive traits and not pop. Yeah. Which has then been retconned to say that Liquid Snake doesn't know how genes work. Yeah. Except that he has like a 200 IQ. Uh huh. I have it, to pee really bad. Oh boy, I am super, I can't walk well. Because you're not acting really well. Have you I'm, noticed my button? Because oh I've my noticed my God. button. God, I don't have any buttons, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tear it right now. <laughs> okay, it's Chipomania now. It's time to talk about the rest of Metal Gear. You you blow up the the helicopter Liquid is in. It seems he's finished. And he's screaming, "Brother!" At yeah. this point, he's totally screaming. Brother. Uh, you meet up with Otacon to fix an elevator and shit. And he asks Snake if Love can bloom on the battlefield because he has a crush on Sniper Wolf. Because she was nice then to him. Then you shoot her ass yeah. off. You 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 kill her and Otacon's real upset, but it's. Had to be done, bro. And he's like, Snake, what are you fighting for? And he's like, if we get out of this alive, I'll tell you. And I guess he does, but you never find out. He ne- in the games, he never directly tells uh, Otacon right. what. Uh, but you, you get closer and closer to the hangar where Metal Gear is being being stored. You fight Vulcan Raven. Mm-hmm. Um, there's Who's some a magic Native American man. Yep. Uh, along the way, there, there's some intrigue with uh, one of your support people, Master Miller, from Peace Walker and Metal Gear what? 2. is it? Oh my god. Is it? Uh, he's, he's telling you that there's some weird things going on with Naomi, and he thinks that Naomi might be a spy. Naomi is eventually detained and all this stuff, uh, and it seems that she might have had her own motives for being on your support staff. Uh... You get to the metal, the chamber where Metal Gear Rex is being held. Uh, you have to disarm the nukes while while everybody nukes. is out. The and car there's you, a lot of stock footage of nukes. Yeah, there's a lot of stock footage. These are what nukes. nukes look like. Yes, there's a lot of messing around with the the key card you got from the the uh, Armstrong president. Mm-hmm. Different temperatures turn it into the different keys. You're very small. <laughs> I'm looking at your legs, and they are very small. They they are. I mean, I, I can almost put my hand around my ankles. I can almost put my hands around entirely can around I my put, legs. I could put my hand around your goddamn thigh. <laughs> I won't, you filthy animals. <laughs> oh, you're a tiny baby. I just I'm wanna, a 26 year old baby. I want to swaddle you up, <laughs> and rock you to sleep. No, I could go to sleep 
perfectly fine on my own because I'm an adult man with a baby's body. Okay, fine. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> it seems that Solid Snake disarms the nukes. Yeah. But surprise, it was actually a trick. <gasps> Liquid and Ocelot the whole time. You've been double crossed, boy. They knew the whole time that you had the card. They couldn't actually activate the nukes. It turns out they were using you to actually activate them rather than disarm them. Uh huh. Uh, and they got that because you're the only one that talked to to the the people. Yeah, and they, they were had sudden and mysterious heart attacks. Yeah. They knew that you were going to be able to meet those people, and that was how they were going to extract the information. Because so the DARPA chief was actually decoy octopus disguised as a DARPA chief. <laughs> Oh no, my I remote! It. My remote control! <laughs> it doesn't fit in my mouth good. <laughs> so the DARPA chief wasn't actually a DARPA chief. DARPA chief had been killed, tortured and killed by Revolver Ocelot, who, at the time, they were trying to get the information about the PAL cards to activate the newts from him. Uh, but, you gotta so... Make hot. You gotta make them cold. Gotta make them hot, gotta make them cold, gotta make them medium. <laughs> Hot, cold, <laughs> hot, cold, man, it all comes together. Ah! They actually had Decoy Octopus disguised as, Dar as the DARPA chief to try and get the information from Snake. Uh, the reason why Decoy Octopus is able to disguise so well from people was that he also, like, took their blood inside of him, which seems really fucking dangerous. The number five is going to do nothing on that remote right now. <laughs> Fuck it. You. <laughs> I'm talking to you. I know what you might be thinking, and I understand. I understand. I just want you to know we're just having a good time. We're, f we're, we're having a good time ourselves. And then I'm very, very devoted to my sweet and lovely wife. And we care very deeply for one another. And I cannot wait to give her the biggest smooching of her life as soon as I get back home. In the meantime, let's have some fun. I'm easy to get along with when things go my way, says Garfield. That's getting edited out, right? All right, cool. So? No, that's my that's my running bit. You don't get that running bit. <laughs> okay. That's mine. I wish, I, this not, I wish there was another poster nearby that I could touch. That was mine. <laughs> All right, so do you, that... The, the, the Darpa chief was not the real Darpa chief. He wasn't. The, the actual Darpa chief was tortured to death. He was tortured to death by Ocelot. And, and the actual Darpa chief was one of your uh, uh, support staff from MGS3. Well, one of Big Boss's support staff The Darpa from chief MGS3. was Mr. S was Sigund from MGS3. Which is not, which is more an Easter egg than an important thing, really, in, in the scheme of things. Kind of. It, 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 it was kind of foreshadowed for three that he'd become the Darpa chief because it said that he started, started you know, Sigan, which eventually gets turned into... Which gets turned into DARPA. DARPA. But anyway, that was actually Decoy Octopus, the... Trying to the, extract the information. The final freak show boss. Yeah, he was trying to extract information from Snake. That was the plan, because the whole time they knew Snake was going to be sent in there. I'm a bloody boy. <laughs> it's like the fucking Fantastic Four in here. Don't see that movie. I want to see them. I love... Do you know how much I love Miles Teller? Metal Gear. So... There's a something between in the weird zone between Easter egg and important is yeah. the fact that Sigand is the real DARPA chief. Is the real but DARPA chief. You only and encounter the fake DARPA chief, yeah. Decoy Octopus. Well, you, you see in the prison cell, Solison gets thrown in. The actual DARPA chief is in there, and he's he's already writing his magazine, on him, right. which clues in that the DARPA chief you met wasn't the real one. Because how right. did he, how did he decompose so fast? Right. And, you know, Sigan was tortured, or er, Darpa Chief was tortured to death. Well, for more than one reason, because Ocelot at this point, who was part of the, of Cypher slash the Patriots, mm -hmm. uh, was under the guise of helping Liquid Snake, was actually torturing the Darpa Chief to kill him to erase all the founding members of the Patriots. Because he, except for Big Boss and Eva, because he felt all the other ones betrayed Big Boss, and Ocelot is way into idolizing Big Boss. Yeah, I mean, from his first scenes yeah. as, like, a little 19-year-old baby boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ocelot's entire life and whatever he's doing is entirely to help Big Boss because he loves him. <laughs> <laughs>
But but this this all comes to a head. There's a big confrontation, mm -hmm. and Solid Snake and Liquid Snake must fist fight. They must fist fight they, atop the destroyed Metal Gear they, Rex. They must punch out. Frank Yeager slash Gray Fox comes in to 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 help destroy Metal Gear Rex and mm -hmm. kill in the process. It turns out that uh, the reason why both the DARP both Decoy Octopus slash the DARPA chief and Arms Tech the Arm Test arms tech president died so mysteriously is because the nanomachines Naomi injected into Snake also had a uh, a virus developed by the American government called Fox Die. Fox Die! And it looks at the gen it spreads to everybody but it only everybody kills people it. with certain genetic codes. Oh. So it's, it's, it's meant to kill only very specific targets so if you're not on that list Fox Die does nothing to you. Yeah. <laughs> While I've got the mic and the camera to myself... <laughs> no! Let's talk about Metal Gear! I'd like to ask you to send me money. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash Chip and Eroticus. No, just me money. Fuck it. Patreon.com slash General Eroticus. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liquid and the Solid Snake are both clones of Big Boss. <laughs> are they now? Yes, they are! And, and Liquid Snake is incredibly upset because he feels he has received recessive bad genes and Solid Snake was given all the good ones, and so right. he is the superior clone. So neither are technically exact clones. Yeah. They, the, neither of them, because they were both born, play like, in a surrogate mother, they, they don't have the exact... <laughs> they don't have this the This is ASL for camping, by the way. Really? And this is... No, no, this is camping. Uh-huh. And this is partners. Okay. And this is shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is airplane, and this is pilot, because it's is airplane. One, is there ASL for solid snake? It's airplane person. I don't know. Okay, there's probably a way to say solid snake in ASL. There's, there are certainly signs for both solid and snake. Imagine seeing the entire plot of the entire Metal Gear series explained through ASL. What the fuck would that look like? It looked like it's fucking semaphore or something. <laughs> what are, they, are they trying to land a plane? Are they telling me what happened in Metal Gear? <laughs> Anyways, Metal Gear. Uh... So, Liquid and Solid fight on top of the des destroyed Metal Gear Rex. Uh, oh, and what I was saying about Naomi was that she, her whole thing was that she wanted Solid Snake to die because yep. he killed Gray Fox, and Gray Fox was the one who apparently found no. her in Africa and rescued her. But mm -hmm. he's the one who killed her parents, but she never finds that out. Okay, here's my question. Uh huh. Now, her plan was to kill all the people she wanted to kill through Fox Die. Yeah. At the time she made Fox die, mm -hmm. Solid Snake had not yet been responsible for Frank Yeager's death. Is that true? I feel like she worked on Fox die after that. But, I mean, Frank Yeager is Gray Fox, is the cyborg ninja, who is clearly alive Still during alive, the, the end of the game. but he's like all fucked up. Okay. He's all, cause it's-, it's he's, all, he's all fucked he's up. He's all fucked up, and okay. it's like, so when Gray Fox is being like turned into the cyborg ninja, it was essentially just like really screwed up unethical experiments. So it's like the death that is not death. Yeah, oh, Gray okay. Fox was worked on by Dr. Clark, who is actually a paramedic from MGS3, one of the founders of the Patriots. They, they refer to Dr. Clark as a he in Metal Gear Solid 1, as retconned as a she. The explanation is Naomi never met Dr. Clark, so she didn't know at the time that it was a woman. So Naomi's a big old misogynist. Uh -huh. Everybody who's capable in their field, clearly a man. <laughs> so how do you get the information that... When you're, that... Fighting, when you're fighting Metal Gear okay. Rex, Gray Fox appears. He's like, I'm going to stop it, but before I do this and probably die... Please tell Naomi that I am the one that killed her parents. And Solid Snake goes, okay, and then never fucking tells her! <laughs> Meryl is also on top of Metal Gear Rex. You're fist fighting. And There's she's a... like, she's got pom poms? She's no, cheering she, on? No, she's like knocked out and like oh, restrained and stuff. But... I wasn't in that LP. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> You heard a time limit before uh, uh, the, the place is bombed by the U.S. because the Secretary of Defense is there and he's like, This shit is fucking dumb! This is my idea! You're fucking it up! I'm gonna bomb it so nobody knows I fucked up because I want to keep my job! The president's gonna fire me! <laughs> so there's a nameless Secretary of Defense! He actually has a name, but it's not... It, okay. I forget what it this is right now. This unimportant character in Metal Gear Secretary Solid of Defense. 1 yeah. in... How many games? There's like 8, 9, 12 games in the Metal Gear franchise. 4, 5... The most capable and like logical character in the whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. Just bomb it and so it's, call it's, it a day. Yeah, it's gonna get bombed and it's like, oh shit, so we have to beat Liquid, rescue Meryl and escape before that happens. 
Uh, you is, but you is, beat up there's an option. There's mm-hmm. an option of who you rescue. When Ocelot's torturing you, if you submit to the torture, Meryl is killed, and you escape Shadow Moses with Otacon. With Otacon. If you if you survive if the you torture, survive the torture, you escape with Meryl, which is Meryl. the canonical ending. But Otacon is still saved in the Meryl ending. Okay. Liquid dies like 18 times in the final boss fight. <laughs> no, no, continue. <laughs> no! Our Let's Play channel is PG-13, have you know? You were say- so there's two endings. There's two endings. And the canonical one is escaping canonical. with Meryl because Otacon also gets rescued. Right. Uh, so they're... T- in a sense, they're both canonical. Yeah. In that you escape with both of them. The information revealed in the ending where Meryl dies is canonical, where Campbell reveals he's actually Meryl's father and not, his, mm-hmm. not her uncle. Um, so but it, it, it both, doesn't overwrite the truth. Yeah, but both Meryl and Otacon survive at the end of MGS1. Uh, Liquid Snake is eventually defeated not by you, but by the fact that Fox Die was programmed to also kill him. Mm-hmm. Fox Die is also programmed by, Na- by Naomi to kill Solid Snake, but... Who knows when she gives this lame inspirational speech about just live your life. So you have to this, live. This Snake? is the most annoying thing about Naomi. I think Naomi is a pretty okay character, except except except. Uh huh. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> the fact that she 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 acts too mysterious. A- except that she's so dead set on getting vengeance on the killer of Frank Yeager, the, mm-hmm. the man that. That, that stole Frank Yeager away and turned him into merely Gray Fox, the mm-hmm. cyborg ninja. Mm-hmm. But then she's immediately won over by him doing the same exact shit on a different uh, uh, on a different mission. Solid Snake doesn't change at all between the MSX games and, and Metal Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. But just by witnessing him, she she's moved to yeah. this point where, you know what? It's too bad I programmed that virus to kill you. Who knows what will but you're a cool though. guy, and I'll give as you this speech. As long as you have fun living, we'll then maybe it won't you know, kill you. It's a weird thing. It's like a like, metaphor, kind of. You're, we're, we're cool, right? I mean, I, I, I just genetically engineered your certain doom, but mm-hmm. we're cool, Who right? Who knows when it'll be? I maybe it'll be when right you're 80 now. years old, if I mean, you're cool enough. Nowadays, you're okay. Yeah. I'm, the virus it, judges if you're cool enough. Let's just water under the bridge, bygones be bygones, <laughs> I killed I can't, you, I whatever. can't take the virus out of your blood, it's there forever, I'm sorry. I, we, Wait, made, we both th- made mistakes, That's let's what call I, it even. I, I, I don't have a life-killing virus inside me, but... The, the stuff we're going to talk about Naomi later generally just sucks in general. Yeah. But I think this is the thing that makes me not like Naomi to begin with. Yeah. In, in her first appearance. <laughs> but that's the end of Metal Gear Solid. And if you One. play Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes, it's, it's the, the same thing except with jet noises more and way back more flips. backflips. A lot more backflips. There's actually a, a post-credits phone call where okay. Revolver Ocelot it's has left... It's always a post-credits phone Revolver call. Revolver Ocelot has left Shadow Moses. He's still alive. The entire Shadow Moses thing appears to have been some kind of weird setup for Mr. President, a.k.a. the third clone, <laughs> Solidus. Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President. Who you might remember from the final video of Our Killer 7 Let's Play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why don't we do that anymore? We do it every once why in a while Why don't we do still. the weird final ending videos where everything's out on the table, let it all hang <laughs> out. Just show our fucking scrotums. Why not? <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I dropped things. Okay. <laughs> don't look the remote anymore. It's ours. I never actually licked it. It got close. It was dangerous.